Good afternoon. Uh, I'm a historian from Krakow. I work in uh, the historical museum of the city of Krakow in uh, branch Pomorska Street. My uh, per intermission is about the Pomorska Street and uh, memory restored. At the beginning, I told you a few words about the history of the building of the Silesian House. Uh, on 13 September 1939, Dom Śląski Silesian House, former headquarter of the Union for the Protection of Western Borderland, was uh, commanded by German occupation authorities. The Einsatzkommando II, a German task force that arrived in Krakow at that time and took the building. Einsatzkommando II was a unit of Einsatzgruppe 1 of the Security Police, Sicherheitspolizei, and the Security Service, Sicherheitsdienst, commanded by the SS Stumbarfinner Bruno Miller in November 1939. Einsatzgruppe 1 was dissolved and replaced uh, by the headquarter, headquarters of the, uh, the headquarters uh, of, uh, I'm sorry, uh, of the security police and the security service. Um, after uh, Department 4 of that office was the German uh, secret state police, Geheime Staatspolizei, Gestapo. Uh, during the next uh, years of war, uh, German have been occupied houses I ascend to Dom Schlonski. Uh, room on the second and the third floor uh, were adapted for investigation uh, carried out uh, by the Gestapo. Some of the cellars were converted into holding, uh, holding cells uh, for uh, detainees under interrogation. Inscription, inscriptions left on the cell walls by prisoners in the years 1943-1945 uh, have uh, survived to this, uh, to this day. According to an uh, inventory made by the Historical Museum of the City of Krakow in the 60s, uh, the total of some uh, 600, 600 inscriptions had been left in the cells. This uh, ununique and shocking uh, document of the Nazi occupation era uh, has been made available to the visitors at the museum. Some uh, of the inscriptions were uh, made by using uh, crayons, pencils, other were carved into uh, the walls. Uh, the inscriptions bear evidence of the victims' experiences and emotions such as fear, hopelessness, and anxiety about their relatives. Through some of them, Prisoners with an inclining of uh, their, their own death during interrogation and torturers bade their last farewells. Many of them uh, preserved inscriptions are pray prayer-like in form. In others, the authors begged for rescue or uh, death that would bring them relief from Torture. Among the inscription are first and last names, initials, nom de guerre, dates, drawings, and signs. Most of the inscriptions are anonymous. Calendars have also been preserved on the cell's wall and door, made by the prisoners who thus counted their days in detentions. Based on this, it can be concluded that uh, people have been kept in the prison of Dom Shlonsky, uh, the, the Silesian house, for several weeks. 
Most of the prisoners in the holding cells were people from District Krakow of the general government. It was the part of occupied Poland. In terms of nationality, most of them were Poles, as evidenced by inscriptions on the cell walls, sometimes Russians, Czechs, Frenchmen, and even Germans were also imprisoned here. It is not known uh, the exact number of the people that had died as a result of torture during interrogations conducted by the German officers. Many of the prisoners were deported to concentration camps or executed. The Gestapo had left Domšlonski, the Silesian house, by 17 January 1945. Now we came back to the history of the origin of the Silesian house. The construction of the, of the Dom began in 1939, 1939 as the in initiative of the Union for the Protection of Western Border Runs. Uh, an elegant modern building was built for a different uh, purpose. Here we can uh, read some extract of purpose. A house, uh, <coughs> the ceremony at the laying of the foundation stone ended with the words, may this house founded to serve the purpose of culture and education, symbolize the lasting and imperishable bond between immemorably Polish Silesia and ancient capital of the Piast and the Jagiellonian dynasties. The founder meant the Dom Śląski to be a place that would provide Silesian students in Krakow with a condition for learning and a center for education and research devoted to the Polish related issues in the context of the country, country's western borderlands. The house offered the accommodation uh, facility for participants from Silesia and Poles living permanently in Germany. The cinema, the cinema hall for seven uh, seats with a balcony, a lecture hall for 300 people, a reading room, canteen, canteen room for the organization of Upper Silesia and even 12 private flats. The building was open, opened in 1936. When the Red Army arrived to Krakow, uh, the building was uh, commanded for the purpose, purpose of the first infantry and cavalry officer schools in Krakow, which trained future cadres of the People's Army of Poland. The school was managed by Soviet officers seconded from the Red Army to serve in the Polish Armored Force. The cinema at Dom Śląski was used to the purpose of culture and propaganda activities. In February 1945, the cinema Wolność, Polish for Freedom, uh, was opened there. The cinema was also used to stage plays. From April 1945 to June 1946, it housed the Rhapsodic Theater, one of the actors in the, in the company during the German occupation was Karol Wojtyła, who later became Pope John, Pope John Paul II. The flats of Dom Śląski, the Silesian house, were rented to Krakowian actors. Re-established in 1944, the Polish Union made effort to repossess the building, which ended with success in November 1945. Soon after, the building was placed at the disposal of the Society of Students at the Academy of Mining in Krakow. In addition to its past activities, at that time, the association was also involved with the interrogation of the Western territories, integration of the Western territories that had been annexed to Poland after Second World, Second World War. 
the authorities, the authorities of communist Poland liquidated public organizations whose origins dated back to before the war. To achieve that, several organizations were combined into larger structures, while their pre-war activists were persecuted, dismissed, and replaced with new people. In 1950, the Polish Western Association was merged with the Mar Marte 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 League, which actually meant it's being liquidated. As property of the Polish uh, Union, Dom Śląski was taken over by the, by the board of the Krakow section of the Marty Mine League. In <coughs> 1953, during another organiz reorganization, uh, the Silesian House uh, was uh, transferred to new organization which have the name Soldiers Friends League. After, we have another reorganization. In 1963, the Soldiers Friends League was transferred into the country Defense League, which has been in existence until the present. In 1989, uh, the country Defense League became the lawful proprietor of Dom Śląski and has been the administrator of the building to this day. The necessity to commemorate the victims of German terror, terror emerged among the people who had themselves been prisoners of the Gestapo. The first commemorative plaque was funded and manufactured by one of such prisoners, Franciszek Uczywo. The plaque was unveiled on 1st November 1945. After the war, the former Gestapo cells were visited by victims, relatives, who treated them as a special type of cemetery. In 1946, the Regional, uh, Regional Commission for the investigation of German crimes undertook efforts to create in Dom Śląski a museum. But the initiative did not find support and been quickly forgotten. For almost 19 years, the former Gestapo prison was not of interest of any museum or a documentary institution. Only the administrator of Dom Śląski Ludwig Koszelinski carried for its ability to maintain and change objective. Over the years, the, mom the memory of Pomorska Street has become more and more the domain of former prisoners. The street where Dom Śląski was situated had changed its name for, from Pomorska to Józef Wybicki Street. For many years, there was no possibility of any commemoration for the victims. Only in March 1966, in the cells at number uh, two, uh, Józef Wybicki Street, a group of employees of the Historical Museum of the City of Krakow held the first inventory of the inscription left by the prisoners of the Gestapo. In 1968, museum request of the National Council of the City of Krakow to creation at this place a branch of the museum, Martyrdom Museum. This request never received uh, an answer. In uh, 1972, the museum issued the first publication of the history of Pomorska Street by Stanisław Czerpak and Tadeusz Wroński. The most important part of this compendium of knowledge about Pomorska is comprehensive list of inscription gathered during inventory in the 60s. Results of maintenance, inventory, and editorial works by the Historical Museum of, this, of, uh, by the Historical Museum of Krakow pointed to the necessity of care and conservation 
of this place and the need for creation where a national memory monument. Over the next years, the museum and Second World War veterans lobbied for the creation of a, of a museum here. In 1974, the museum presented a concept for a plan for the Museum of Martyrdom and Struggle. It seemed that the efforts of the museum was crowned with success. In connection, in connection with the acceptance of the project uh, by the Communist Party authorities of Krakow. On January 17, 1975, on the wall of the Dom Śląski, a commemorative plaque was unveiled. On 5 no November 1981, by the decision of the Minister of Culture and Art, the museum was established as a division of Historical Museum of the City of Krakow. The main task of the museum branch in Dom Śląski is to preserve the memory of the victims of this place. The condition for preserva preservation of this memory is knowledge and its uh, dimension, dimension. The branch of the museum from the beginning consisted of two parts, the cells, of the former Gestapo prison and the permanent exhibition presenting the history of Krakow for the years 1939 until 1945. In the 90s, the exhibition was changed and, and expanded to include the history of Krakow during years 1945 and 1956, and thus also included the period of Stalinist terror cell were presented without any interference to the condition without museum exhibits. In, in June in June 2010 in the former administration building of the Deutsche Emalivarenfabrik at 4 Lipova Strasse Located in the district of Podgórze in Krakow, the Historical Museum of Krakow opened a new branch of the museum, Oskar Schindler's Factory, with the permanent exhibition Krakow Time of Occupation, 1939-1945. The, exhibi the exhibition presents a comprehensive wartime history of the city as seen, fro as seen from three perspectives, the Polish and Jewish inhabitants and the German occupiers, who made the Krakow the capital of the occupied Polish territory, General Gouvernement. In conjunction with the opening of the exhibition, a new exhibition was prepared at Pomorska Street. On uh, 2nd June 2011, at Pomorska Street branch, opened a new uh, media permanent exhibition titled People of Krakow Against the Terror, 1939-1945-1956. Uh, this exhibition is intended to uh, rescue form uh, oblivion of the names of the victims, their fate and the tragic events of the years 1939-1956 in which they were the participants. It shows the mechanism of terror, violence, and the attitudes of the citizens of Krakow against the repressions of two totalitarian system, presenting the fate of some characters and difficult choices. It preserves the memory of them and tragic period in the history of the city. Uh, the exhibition is convinced as a kind of significant supplement of the Oscar Schindler's Enemale factory, which is built around the myth of the Oscar Schindler's personality. At Pomorska Street, uh, visitors have the opportunity to establish intimate contact with the two dates' close history. 
that is still alive and has a chance to remain alive for future generations. A, a complementary element of the exhibition is an archive, archive containing biographies of Krakow citizens, the victims of German and communist terror in the years 1939-1956. The archive, the archive can be used in a branch of Pomorska Street or online. At the permanent exhibition in Dom Śląski are also files containing documents and photographs of the victims. Archives will be constantly updated with new information and documents. Equally important, important for the organizers was to recall what the word Pomorska meant in the days of the occupation of the people of Krakow and what fear it caused. In last decades, associated with communist cinema Wolność, Freedom, Music Club, Freedom FM, and now with the television detective drama W11 Headquarter, should be combined primarily with the history of occupied Krakow. Present owner, present owner of the Dom Śląski and thus owner of Place of Memory rents its space uh, to various business and institutions, also to the museum. The building currently hosts, hosts two hostels, a fitness club, a driving school, shooting range, diving club, betting agency, office of country defense league, at the courtyard, there is a private parking. This, this all interferes with uh, the nature of Dom Śląski as important place for the history of Krakow. Museum, by the per permission of the owner, carries out a number of renovation work which are leading to improve the quality of museum. Exhibition, space directly far away from the cells of the former Gestapo prisons. Pomorska Street, together with the pharmacy under the Eagle, Apteka pod Orłem, and the Oskar Schindler, Schindler's factory are the branches of the historical museum of the city of Krakow, which deal with the history of Krakow during the Second World War. These institutions form the road of remembrance of the historical museum of Krakow. This trial road is yet another possibility to understand the difficult times of the Second World War. For those who are coming to Krakow to see places associated with the Holocaust, in this context it is worth recalling an unknown history of Dom, Dom Śląski on Pomorska Street, wrongly identified only with the martyrdom of Poles. Jews of Krakow were also questioned here. The Gestapo was planning and deciding about Holocaust action in Krakow here at Pomorska Street. <clears throat> now uh, some uh, conservation uh, issue. Uh, from April uh, to June uh, 1967, uh, the request of the Municipal Heritage Preservation Office in Krakow first conservation work at Dom Śląski was conducted. Uh, during this time, uh, the drawing and the photographic documentation was prepared. The former Gestapo cells were, were protected by the uh, uh, Civilian Committee for Protection of Monuments of Struggle and Martyrdom in Krakow. In 1976, Inscriptions at the cells uh, were uh, vanishing due to water leakage from the site of the students' hostel. The museum began to intervene with the different institutions responsible for this condition. As a result of these efforts, restoration works were done in the years 1977 and 1978 and uh, in 1981. The basement dampness was caused in large part uh, because of the lack of effective wall and floor 
uh, installation and improper use of premises uh, near, the near the cells. In 1996, uh, another conservation expertise was made based on uh, those results in 19 uh, 1997 complex building and restoration works were carried out. The conservators have changed the layout of the pavement surface of Pomorska Street and built uh, many uh, things to preserve uh, leaking uh, the water. In uh, May uh, 2011, in order to secure the inscription in three cells of uh, Dom Shlonsky, steel and glass panels were built. Opposite the cell uh, one, in, former, in a former toilet, rebuilt after the war, are presented photographs taken during the inventory of the inscriptions. Over the years, part of the wall uh, writings has been partially or completely destroyed due to the high humidity in the rooms. In the 90s, the uh, museum made attempts for a, a legal uh, secure status of the former Gestapo detention cells in Krakow. On uh, 9 December 1997, Dom Shlonsky, the Silesian house, was entered into the register of monuments by the provincial conservator. Unfortunately, this de decision of the Małopolska Conservation Office has been appealed uh, by the owner of the building, the National, the National Defense League. At the request of the owner, the building was examined by the General Inspector of Monuments. On 1st August, 2000, the decision of the entry of the Dom Shlonsky into the register of monuments was cancelled. For about a quarter of a century, we see the world's growing interest in the history and the memory of the past. This interest of even a particular, particularly painful history of the Second World War in Krakow confirms the great success of permanent exhibition. Krakow time of occupation 1939-1945 at the Oskar Schindler's factory. From early uh, 2011 until the end of the August exhibition was visited uh, by more than uh, 200,000 of visitors. The exhibition was honored by several awards, including the prestigious award uh, for the museum invent in 2010 in category of historical exhibition. The increase in number of visitors was also noted at Pomorska Street. For comparison, in 2021, uh, we had uh, 900 people visited Dom Shlonsky, the museum. And in the following years, Attendance has grown constantly. In uh, 2009, the Pomorska Street branch was visited by a record number of tourists and citizens of Krakow, 5,000 people. Since the opening of the new exhibition and the former Gestapo prisons from June uh, to the end of the September this year, we had 4,000 visitors. Thank you.